She can dance, she can sing, she can paint, she can play, she can make you laugh. She's Hi and welcome back. I'm Rachel Ray and I'm on location at YouTuber Anne Spade's home. This is a gorgeous little kitchen that she allowed me to present this new little meal to you. And if you look, her view is just gorgeous. I would never leave the sink. I'd wash dishes all day, I promise you. Yeah, I thought I saw our lights in the, uh, in, in the window. Well, we have to work with what we have to work with, but that's okay. What's important here is our meal. So this is what I have for you. As the summer months get warmer and warmer, we want to stay away from, as much as possible, we want to stay away from the grill, the stove, the oven, anything that's warm, right? We want a cooler meal, quicker meal, and let's face it, we've got all kinds of activities going on during the summer, and so what do we want? We want a quick meal that we can take on the go. And it's so easy, a child can do it, which is great because it's a child's favorite. Well, most children love it. PB&J people, we're rocking the PB&J fanny. That's right. So let's get started. What we have here is your standard peanut butter and you have your standard jelly, which as we all know, you can get anywhere. Now jellies for a healthier alternative, of course you can get sugar-free. You can also uh, get a more natural peanut butter if you really want to go healthy. And um, the peanut butter that I found that I like to use is this natural peanut butter and it's made with real peanuts and this little goop on top which is kind of disconcerting but um, but that is natural peanut oil so you just want to take your knife use a little elbow grease and mix it up and um, but that's okay we can burn a little bit of calories right before we you know pack it on <laughs> okay. so uh, so and then like I said I'm using a standard Skippy peanut butter and, um, and then Welch's grape jelly. Now, a lot of people like preserves, and um, I, I actually prefer jelly without the preserves. I don't want anything in my teeth, okay? So um, the bread, of course, you can use any kind of bread that you choose, you know? It's, it's all a matter of taste. It's a simple sammy, and um, what I chose is 100% whole wheat, and I chose that as a little bit of a healthier alternative. Of course, my jelly is not healthy. It's your standard jelly but let's hope that this will kind of compensate for that. Okay, so of course, we're gonna take two slices of bread and be sure to wash your hands, which is something that I did before taping, okay? Now what I like to do, as you all know me well, I like to add a little bit of EVOO, okay? I wanna add just an out. Wow, it's a little bit slippery. So in our peanut butter, I want to go ahead and uh, just use a tablespoon. I just want to put a little dollop of EVOO into the peanut butter. And all you have to do is just mix it up and make sure that it's all blended together so that you don't have, you know, an oily mess and uh, and it's and it's just back to creamy, but it's it spreads a little easier and it's a little bit healthier, okay? Now, uh, it's not as hard as if you're gonna stir up the natural peanut butter, but, um, but it's a little, still, look, burning calories, people. You wanna burn a little bit more calories, just do a little bit quicker, and, um, and there you have it. Just your natural, well, not natural, but your peanut butter with the, uh, with the EVOO, okay? So, since I've got the spoon out, let's not dirty any more dishes. Let's, let's just make this quick and easy, okay? So, um, since I have the spoon, what I like about using the spoon is that you can just scoop it right up as much as you want, and then you start spreading it all over the bread. Now, I don't know what the deal is, but for most places that I go to that sell peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, or um, a lot of my friends that, you know, I go to their homes, and when they make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for their, uh, for their little girls and little boys, um, or for themselves, for some reason, they don't go corner to corner, edge to edge. I like to do that. I mean, it's bad enough a lot of people waste the crust anyway, but this way, let's make the crust a little bit more enticing. Let's fill up that Sammy and, uh, and you know, it just makes it that much better. I like to spread it end to end, corner to corner, and I like to fill it up. Okay, you know me, I'm not shy. Here you go. So there it is. I piled on the peanut butter and um, I'm not afraid to mix a little bit of peanut butter in with my jelly. After all, it's going on the sandwich. So I'm gonna go ahead scoop up some peanut or some jelly and I'm going to um, spread it on the sandwich. Now you can 
mix it in with the peanut butter or you can just put it in with the jelly um, or mix it in with the peanut butter or you can put it in you know on a separate piece of bread end to end corner to corner it's this simple it's that quick that easy it's a it's a simple snack you slam them together just like that and you have a pb and j sammy that's right and it is to die for mm. Nothing beats something simple, something quick, something a little light. It's not heavy and you can go swimming not too long after. It's great. One other thing I want to show you. What we have here, a big block of cheese. That's right, a big block of cheddar cheese. This has nothing to do with the sandwich, but I know you all love cheese, so there it is made its little cameo appearance, okay? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for PB&J. And uh, one word of caution, when you're trying to talk, you look ridiculous because you're forever trying to clean your teeth as you're talking. But thank you for joining me. I'm Rachel Ray again. I'm on location at YouTuber and Spade's house. And uh, join me again and I'll show you something quick, something easy. And there you have it. Mmm. If you are just loving that PB&J Sammy, our friends at snorktees.com have a special t-shirt. Stop by and check it out. It is adorable.